So we're going to limit the refrigerant GWP. And where this is all going is this, why, this is why we transition away from 410A. The AMAC gives the EPA the ability to regulate refrigerants. Okay, so we pass this law. Who's going to regulate it? We're going to give it to the EPA. The EPA gets a hold of it. I don't know how they figure this out, but they come up with some GWP level of 700. Okay, in a roundabout way, they talk to some manufacturers and they talk to some other people and they, they get the lowest number that they could possibly get at the time given the technology. Okay, so the current rule is 700 GWP. So refrigerants cannot have a GWP over 700. Okay. If you want to get really into the weeds on this, you can Google the EPA technology transition rule or technology transition program. And I'm going to blow this up. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this through Teams. But basically, every sector and subsector has a limit of GWP. For example, chillers and comfort cooling, 700 GWP limit. Transportation refrigeration, 700 GWP limit. But look at some of these things here like ice rinks. 500. Vending machines, I'm sorry, ice rinks 150, vending machines 150. So why do some sectors or some machines have a lower GWP than our commercial air conditioning units? The answer is because they can, because they have, they're utilizing refrigerants that have a low GWP, probably CO2 or propane, which we don't use in commercial HVAC. So if you pull that chart down, you'll see that.